hello 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 youtube family welcome and welcome back to freeze fragrance finds i am the lady of the house lady free your gourmand guru and on this channel baby we love and discuss all things fragrances where i love gourmands yes i do but that doesn't mean that you have to stick around i promise you'll find something that you like guys but before we get into today's video i would love for you to take a quick moment to like comment subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you won't miss any of my uploads don't you dare miss out let's hop into today's video you make me feel so good, so good, yeah. Oh, yeah. You make me feel so good, so good, yeah. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, boy. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, what is up? What is up? What's up? It is your girl, Lady Free, your girl morning guru in the house. And in today's video, we have some raspberry realness for you, baby. So if you would like to hear about these succulent raspberry fragrances that I have in my collection, please don't forget to like this video and do continue to watch. Let's hop right in. Guys, the first one is Minnie Miles. Couldn't do a raspberry video without Minnie Miles, right? I've talked about this ad nauseum, so let's make it quick. We're on the product shot. This is your sweet, whimsical, tart, creamy raspberry fragrance. Let's go ahead and get you the notes. Mini Mounts has top notes of marshmallow, whipped cream, middle notes of raspberry, caramel, and coconut, vanilla, musk, and cedar are your base notes. You do get just a light, whipped, airy, tart, but sweet, coconutty type of raspberry fragrance. And that is exactly what you get in your Mini Mouse. Wearability. This is just a fun, whimsical, juvenile, light, airy, feminine fragrance that is perfect for this time of year. This uh, fragrance is light and airy, so it's okay to wear if you're going outside. If you're going to be in the dead of heat, you're going to be under the sun all day. This is perfect for that because it won't get cloying. It's light. It's airy. It's just all the things of the thing. This isn't a good date night scent. It is a really good sexy scent because it is whimsical. It's juvenile. So I wouldn't attribute the adjective sexy to this scent. So therefore I would not recommend it for a date night. This isn't the greatest performing fragrance. I've spoke about this before. Low to moderate projection, low to moderate sillage, and low to moderate longevity. I'm getting about a four hour wear before it turns into a skin set at the six hour mark. So do keep that in mind value because of that reason this may not be the greatest value right now um house of siage is running itself and it is 237 dollars as opposed to 395 dollars even at the 237 dollar price point this isn't the greatest value for the juice but the bottle may be a different story but level headed me is going to tell you that no it's not a great value for the juice or the bottle really okay let's leave it at that To blind buy or not to blind buy is this blind buy safe yes at this price point no judging by the juice is the juice a safe blind buy yes it's really nothing not to like about this fragrance it isn't anything off-putting or cloying that someone would like not like about this fragrance this is a safe-ish blind buy but don't at that price point okay rating i'm going to rate it based on all the raspberry fragrances that i have in my collection so i'm going to say this is a seven and a half to an eight out of ten i do like it but i am knocking off those points for the performance that is mini mouse by the house of siage this next one is angel nova by mugler go ahead and run the product shot this is your your sweet juicy tart raspberry rose type of fragrance go ahead let's go ahead and get you the notes You have raspberry lychee, damask rose, akigala wood, and benzoin. This one does put you in the mind of a uh, Delina or the Delinas type of DNA, but it is a little bit sweeter in my opinion, and maybe just a little bit more tart. So it's sweeter and tart all at the same time, in my opinion, than your Delinas. You don't get as much of the rose in this fragrance as you do in your Delinas wearability this is a straight up and down feminine fragrance nighttime fragrance as well in my opinion and this may be too much for the dead of summer like if you're outside under the sun this fragrance may get a little cloying so if you're going to wear it if you're outside like at a fair or if you're just anytime outside in the dead of summer um when the sun is at its peak i would mind you to caution your sprays because this one 
okay she ain't no punk okay she come out the door swinging so be mindful of that but um i would just re definitely recommend it more for your nighttime inside so let's jump right into performance she's beastly she is beastly beast mode projection beast mode siage beast mode longevity this is the fragrance that i was referring to when i told the story about me visiting my grandmother at the rehab center this is what i had on along with delena and you, i was smelled throughout the entire facility okay mind your sprays mind your sprays okay <laughs> okay she is beast mode she lasts at least 12 hours okay if you want to put a time frame on it 53.54 joma shop you know about 53 54 dollars for the 1.7 fluid ounce excellent value is she blind by safe i would say if you like delina you will definitely like angel mugler so keep that in mind it's not the safe it's blind by i would not suggest you go blind buying it but if you know you like delina i would say it's a safer blind buy rating this is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection hence period like my don't, this is my favorite raspberry let's go ahead and give it freeze fragrance round of the day to angel nova by mugler this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance raspberry fragrance so of all of these fragrances right now if you're not going to get your nose on anything if you should get your nose on anything i would recommend that you go if you haven't yet smelled angel nova by mugler 10 out of 10 fragrance this next fragrance is one that i feel like every fragrance collector has in their arsenal I feel like every fragrance collector definitely has this one in their arsenal and this one is no no stranger to anyone's channel okay and this is Kurt K by Tiziana Terenzi now me and Tiziana Terenzi don't have a good relationship we're not gonna I'm not gonna hold you I have two fragrances by Tiziana Terenzi and both are challenging for me I have to be in the mood to wear them and this is definitely one this also features a raspberry note let's go ahead and run the product shot this one definitely features a raspberry note in it but it's just a bunch of indiscriminate nondescript fruits very musky sweet tart musky type of fruits you really don't pick up on the raspberry but it is a raspberry note so I did want to include it let's go ahead and get you the note so you have notes of passion fruit, peach, pear, raspberry, cassis, and sand in the top. Middle notes of lily of the valley. Base notes of musk, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and heliotrope. Just a bunch of fruits. Um, I don't really pick up on anything alone. I feel like the passion fruit and the raspberry are adding to the tartness of this fragrance. It is still sweet, very sweet, but it's also a little tart as well and definitely very musky. So you have to vibe with that tea that tiziana terenzi musk it is a signature musk you have to vibe with that fragrance to like this one it isn't as bad as in most tiziana terenzi fragrances to be honest they all smell alike to me don't tell nobody i told you that but they do they do they all really kind of smell alike to me all of them um but this is one that is bearable for me along with cassiopeia cassiopeia that is one that doesn't smell like the rest of the tiziana terenzi dna but most of them smell alike to me so wearability beast mode she is beastly beastly roaring raging beast okay so for that so with that being said i would not wear this outside during the summertime in the dead of heat if you are in a hot climate if you're in a hotter warmer climate especially if it's humid you're gonna choke yourself out baby you're gonna choke yourself all the way out okay so i would reserve this one if you're gonna wear it in the summertime for being inside an air-conditioned place being inside an air-conditioned place okay um she is sh straight up and down unisex some may say lean a little bit masculine that tiziana terenzi musk just just kind of leans a little bit masculine sometimes to me but i would say for the most part it is straight up and down unisex thick heavy dense type of fragrance so performance i already said beast mode she's beastly she's beastly in every every area checks all the boxes siage projection longevity beast you gonna have to scrub this off of your clothes and off of your skin 
okay? That type of beast mode. So let's talk about value. This one can be found found under $100. So because it's so common, uh, yeah, get it right now on Fragrance Net for $125.99, Max Roma for $109. That's great value, great value, great value. But you have to jive with this DNA. Great value, though, great value. Let's jump right into Blind by Worthy. This is on the safer end of the spectrum um, as far as Tiziana Terenzi goes. If I'm going to tell you to blind by any Tiziana Terenzi, I'm not going to tell you to blind by any Tiziana Terenzi, but this is on the safer end of the spectrum. This is not generally a safe blind buy by any means. No Tiziana Terenzi is, but on the Tiziana Terenzi spectrum, this is on the safer end of the blind buy spectrum, okay? Rating, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. I do have to be in the mood for it, okay? So that's Kirk A or Kirk by Tiziana Terenzi. This next one is Passion de L'Amour, also by the House of Siach. Go ahead and run the product shot. Now, this one is one that snuck up on me. I have had this fragrance, I know, three years and have didn't wear it. I may have wore it one time. I may have wore it one time before the recent appreciation and the recent resurgence or surgeons of um affinity <laughs> so i'm saying so put it into layman's terms i've recently started wearing this fragrance i recently picked it up again um during the colder weather and i liked it i liked it so this fragrance has grown on me a lot i have learned to appreciate a good ooh note and it definitely has a oud note and a sour sharp not a sour and sharp but a sour a sweet sour raspberry note along with that oud so let's go ahead and get you the notes you have raspberry saffron and bergamot in the top you have raspberry again in the middle along with the amorous and lily of the valley base notes of argawood um vanilla patchouli and liatris liatris is a um purple floral okay so you definitely get that saffron the saffron is done like it's done in maybe baccarat rouge it's a little mm, let me say it's not done like it's done in baccarat rouge it's done like it's done in like hypertile by zerjoff it doesn't smell like it but it's that leathery type of saffron that leather that leathery kind of type of saffron and that's playing along um well with that oud they're they're mixing together to give you something very strong in scent okay and the raspberry it just gives it a little bit tartness and a little bit sweetness um but you have to definitely jive with oud to like this when you smell the raspberry it is definitely raspberry for because the raspberry is on the top and as well as the mid but you are immediately hit by a doused of oud so you have to like oud it is definitely present in this fragrance i'm um, a quick 2.5 i get that from sheree hey sheree girl what's up ai the great aisha here on youtube what's up girl definitely love her down love sheree too down but um ai was the first I've, i think i mentioned in the past time first youtuber that i started watching was the first fragrance reviewer that I started watching here on YouTube and she put me on to this fragrance and I purchased it off of her recommendation when I purchased it I was like what the hell what is she talking about this smells hard I mean she was just ranting and raving about Passion de L'Amour Passion de L'Amour I said so let me go let me go ahead and buy it mind you this was about three years ago so my nose wasn't as what it my nose wasn't what it is today her nose was matured enough and her palate was mature and well versed enough to appreciate that back then my nose is just now getting to that point today to where i can appreciate and actually love this fragrance so now i'm like you know what aisha you hit that out the park thank you for that recommendation i absolutely love and positively adore this fragrance now just now just this past season i have grown at grown an affinity for this fragrance but you definitely have to have a well versed or mature enough of palette to appreciate the oud that is in this fragrance and it's done it's done well it is done well and i sprayed it on my skin earlier again this is i don't know again but this is my third time recording this video i've had so much trouble with technical trouble today but i pressed and i moved what the hell is that one second y'all wearability she's beastly as well and I, I was saying i sprayed it on my skin earlier and let me just spray it just to show you the oil content in this 
it just says perfume. I'm gonna let it dry down in a minute and I'm gonna show you. It just says it's a perfume, but whatever type of oud they use in this fragrance, it's done so well. And it's just a quality type of oud. I, and it just says perfume, but I'm gonna show you how oily this is on my skin when it kind of dries in a second, okay? But anyway, wearability. If you're gonna wear this during the summertime, please wear it on the inside. She is also beastly. Please wear it on the inside. It can get cloying. It can get really, really just, it can just start rowing and scratching and clawing at you if you're gonna be outside. And they say, this is, uh, this is not uh, a quintessential summertime fragrance, but if you're gonna wear it during the summertime, please be on the inside. So this is a unisex scent, leaning a little bit masculine in my opinion. She's thick, she's heavy, she's dense, she's sweet, she's tart. So do keep that in mind. Um, so. Now, that's dried down. Can you see that? That's oil. Can you see that? So she's done, she's done well. She's done nice, she's crafted nicely. I mean, that's oil, y'all. If you can see it, she's crafted, she's splendidly, okay? performance she gonna stay and she gonna stick to your skin and she gonna stick to your clothes i was traveling and i had sprayed this the time that i did wear it i sprayed it testing it on my on a jacket a jean jacket that i had and i wore it on the plane and i was sick and tired of it it would not let that jacket go i smelled up that whole plane and i didn't like it okay i was like oh i gotta get this off of me okay so she is a Bees, projection, sillage, and longevity. Okay, so do keep that in mind. Right now, House of Siage has their signature collection for 50% off. So this is 188. Um, excuse me, 180 as opposed to the 360. Um, is that a good value? Absolutely for what you're getting. The quality of fragrance you're getting. This is one of the better crafted, better quality fragrances that House of Siage offers, in my opinion. So great value. You definitely have to like oots like the fragrance and appreciate the fragrance, okay? Not a safe blind buy whatsoever. Rating, you know what? I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10, y'all. I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. I have grown to love this fragrance that much. Um, let me knock it down to 9 out of 10 because I still have to be in the mood for it. And you have to really commit to this fragrance when you wear it. So I'm gonna get a... Excuse me, so I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Surprise the hell out of myself, honey. Would not ever think that I would wanna smell like ooh, but I have grown to appreciate ooh just that much and the scent of this just that much. So that's that. Now this next one is Born to Lenti by Parfumo or Profumo di Firenze or Firenze. Go ahead and run the product shot. Now this one does have a raspberry note that is similar or reminiscent to that is similar to the raspberry that is in Minnie Mouse. It's that type of raspberry. They do not smell alike. Um, but this is your gourmand raspberry type of scent. Let's go ahead and get you the notes. You have banana, apricot, peach, red fruits in the top, middle notes of coconut, raspberry, and vanilla in the mid, and base notes of cookie, toffee, caramel, and musk. Now, you definitely get the raspberry. And again, like I said, the raspberry upon initial just smell does smell similar to the raspberry that's in the Minnie Mouse it doesn't smell alike but it does have that type of synthetic -y type of raspberry smell I don't know if it's the raspberry or the coconut that's kind of smells off-putting a little bit to me and very synthetic -y. they say this one smells like boy uh how yeah did they lie I can see it but it's it's done very much differently than the Hayati. excuse me y'all but they lied on that one and Gourmand Bacor seriously this Child, I don't know what these folks smell it, but anyway, yes. So now it's like that because not because I like it, but it's because I wanted to like it so much that I keep and I kept trying to wear it and to like it, and I just it's just not a love for me. I barely even like it, y'all. But I did want to put this on here just guys just to let you guys know about it. It does have a raspberry note that does smell similar to the Minnie Mouse wearability. This is just it's a whimsical gourmand sweet smelling you definitely get that banana 
in the initial blast type of scent so I would say um, it's light it's airy you can really wear it in the dead of summertime if you want to if you want to be outside this is a summertime gourmand that is easy to wear that is another reason why I did want to recommend it to you straight up and down feminine scent in my opinion it's light it's airy it's not cloying or anything not super sweet to where you're going to get tired of it if you're outside or if you're in the dead of summertime or in really hot climate so that is the wearability now the performance is another reason why it's this, much, it's this much of a dent in here it's not a good performer y'all and initially I didn't smell it on me at all I was completely nose blind to it I went completely agnostic to this fragrance I didn't smell it at all so I kept spraying and kept spraying and kept spraying and now that I've let it sit yeah I definitely smell it and yeah it's definitely there as far as me being able to smell it but it still didn't last too long on my skin or, or, or on my clothes it didn't last very long I'm getting a low to moderate um, projection low to moderate sillage a low sillage um and a low and a moderate i would say low to moderate longevity i'm getting about four hours um out of this scent you can find this on look at scent 400 and this is 100 ml so that is a great value for this perfume although it's not a favorite of mine is this a safe blind buy? I will not say this is a safe blind buy. Definitely get your nose on it. You can buy samples from Lucky Scent. So definitely get your nose on it. It's not a safe blind buy. It just definitely, it definitely has something very synthetic, off-putting, Play-Doh smelling, kind of Barbie doll plastic smelling to it, in my opinion. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it, okay? So it's not a safe blind buy rating. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Now this next one, they say that smells like this. If it does smell like it, which I don't think it does, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. this is done right, okay? This is not a, a synthetic. This is your berries, your um, really kind of nondescript berries, creamy berry type of fragrance. This also puts me in, this actually puts me in the mind of Creme de la Berry by Juset Parfums, but not as thick and syrupy and as heavy. This is more of a light, airier, creamer, light, airier, creamy berry type of fragrance let's go ahead and get you the notes you have raspberry berry fruits pineapple whipped cream honey black currant plum and floral base notes of ice cream vanilla and white mustard whipped cream honey black currant plum and floral in the middle okay raspberry berry fruits and pineapple at the top so you definitely get a lighter um creamier fragrance okay so with that whipped cream and the ice cream both of those are lighter they're not as thick and heavy as dense as a heavy cream or a milk so that's what i'm getting from this fragrance so it's really you can't really just pick it out and say it's raspberry but it definitely has a raspberry note listed so i wanted to include it and it's also a perfect gourmand for the summertime as well i can see me wearing this really um during the day during the summertime running errands i wouldn't necessarily wear this on a date but i will wear it like if i have a date in the house okay like a, a cute little uh netflix and chill type of date with my boo that's we're going to be a little bit more intimate that type of in the house or even going to bed type of fragrance so that's what it is for me straight up and down feminine it's a moderate performing scent, moderate, moderate performing fragrance. So I would say someone would have to be kind of close to you to, to smell it on you. And you're not really going to leave a lasting sillage or scent trail or anything like that. And I'm getting about a four to six hour wear out of this fragrance. So value this is 74 75.99 i think um on joma shop this is a great value for this 100 ml bottle great value and it is a quality fragrance so that is value guys i forgot to mention was it blind by worthy it is definitely a blind by safe nothing off-putting about this fragrance rating i actually love this fragrance i really do like it i give it a nine nine and a half out of ten so that is hayeti by the otar collection so this next one is Mula Mula Doba Caramel by Byron Parfums. Let's go ahead and run the product shot. Now this one is some one that is growing on me, but I'm still struggling to really like it. But it has grown on me just a bit. This is your sweet tart Udi in the dry down raspberry type of scent and a little bit spicy. Let's go ahead and get you the notes. You have caramel, ginger, and peach in the top. Caramel again in the mid with raspberry, strawberry, and vanilla. Base notes of Laotian oud, amber, and patchouli. Now, in the dry down, something is not working for me. I, I don't know if it's that patchouli and that 
amber and that the base the base notes that are really just not working for me but in the dry down it, it just doesn't work well on my skin and i'm definitely disappointed that i don't get the sweetness of the caramel really and it's supposed to be double caramel i really don't get that much in this fragrance but again it is growing on. i don't it's growing on me it isn't stinky and i don't hate it it's just i'm trying i'm trying i want to like this fragrance so bad so to me this is a unisex scent leaning a little bit feminine leaning a little bit feminine it's, it is, uh, has a lightness and an airiness to it but it also has some depth and some denseness to it with that oud and that amber um in the base that oud that amber and what else that oud and amber and that patchouli in the base but you do get a bite with that ginger um it does add some spiciness to it i would say that this is um date night date night i don't think it'll get too cloying during the summer really anytime during the summertime you know not necessarily easy reach fragrance for me but i can see it being an easy reach fragrance for someone during the summertime i would say this is a moderate to long lasting scent i don't know what i've said about it before moderate projection moderate sillage right into value now this is a 1.7 fluid ounce or is it 2.5 let me see yeah, 75 ml, 2.5 fluid ounces for $245, I think. Yeah, $245. This was a little bit pricey for me to not really like it. So I'm just going to say for that reason, because I don't really care for it. It's not my favorite. I'm going to say it's not a good value. I'm just going to leave it at that. Guys, my apologies. I was all over the place in this video. I'm really trying to get back into the swing of things. But I felt to mention, was this a safe blind buy? It is not a safe blind buy rating i'm going to give this one as well a six and a half seven out of ten that's mula mula deborah caramel by byron parfums and that brings me to the end of this video y'all thank you thank you thank you so much for sticking in rocking with me y'all i have had so much technical difficulties with my sd i mean just technical difficulties all around the board not mentioning your girl can't walk still can't walk okay so please 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 appreciate the effort that was put into this video please and you can do that simply by giving me a big thumbs up if you find any value in the content if you find any value in what we're doing over here on free on freeze fragrance finds if you find any value in your girl lady free your gourmand guru please just take a quick moment to give a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel it is free and it helps my channel to grow again everything has been funded by me i hope one day and wish one day to be on someone's pr and wish to be affiliate and affiliate with some of these um companies that i love and adore but we haven't got that we haven't got to that point yet we haven't gotten to that place yet so thank you guys so much for sticking in here with me i love you and i'll see you on the next one bye